Hey guys, this is Stemage, and I wanted to take a moment and show you what one of the songs on Spectrum of Mana actually looks like. Uh, it's a wonderfully colorful mess uh, made by a bunch of friends. Uh, I was talking to Nate, we were trying to figure out a way to maybe show you a little bit of behind the scenes of some of these songs, and although I don't have any rough tracks or anything, this is what one of the songs looks like. Uh, for anyone who isn't familiar with recording music, uh, what we have here is a whole bunch of contributions from different people. All the different colors are different people for the most part. Um, we got Travis in here. We've got Amanda in here. We got Josh. We got Lauren. Oh my God! So this is uh, this is a song from the Spectrum of Mana, which is a Secret of Mana uh, collaboration project. A whole bunch of CDs and a whole bunch of music from a whole bunch of people, and a big focus of it was collaboration. So I want to show you guys kind of what happens when you get together with a bunch of friends and try to make music together. Uh, I apologize ahead of time because this video is in mono and that's bad. But I don't know what I'm doing. So this is what we have. Uh, quick note, Travis Morgan, it was kind of the catalyst for this pro this particular song. He uh, already had some ideas for some small parts of the song and, and gave me some percussion, some piano, and some strings, and a little bit of bass, uh, just to kind of, some things he had in his head, which is really where the song ended up going in the end. So, I'm just going to dive in and go through layers so you can see kind of how this sounds broken out, but he gave me some percussion. He gave me a little bit of piano. And then he also gave some strings. which given the feeling of the song actually made a lot of sense. Um, so I just kind of took that and ran with it. And uh, I had an idea for a drum, be drum beat over 4-4 that was kind of peculiar um, that I wanted to experiment with. I had it in my head for a while that is kind of slightly polyrhythmic, but um, this is what it sounds like by itself. <laughs> So we could have stopped there, you know, because that already sounds like Secret of Mana, because it sounds cool, and Secret of Mana's cool, but we didn't. So uh, first thing I did was throw some uh, some clean guitar down to kind of accentuate some of the uh, some of the, the chords that he's already working on, and pull in some of the stuff from the original. Uh, so without any effects or anything, this is what was done for uh, guitar. <laughs> And here it is with all the effects on top. Oh, it's Secret of Mana. Um, so then, you know, it made sense to, to, to get some bass in there because, you know, you got to carry the song kicking and screaming. So then the bass happens. <laughs> Neat. We're getting there. Um, so at this point, we started digging into some other people. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Josh, who uh, Nate found actually researching YouTube videos for people covering Mana stuff. Pulled him into the project, and he was excited to be a part of it. And he offered some really interesting um, layers uh, and some incredible, incredible violin talent to several tracks on the project. So here's what he sounds like by himself. Oh, and I just want to point out, he added a lot of like ambient sort of flair to stuff, but he also added some pretty solid uh, melodic stuff too. So it was re really, he really kind of brought the track to life. 
Uh, but here he is by himself. Yeah, it's notes, right? And then you put it all together, and this is what happens. Neat. Uh, and then it was time to pull in another person by the name of Amanda Laprie, uh, descendants of Erdrich fame, uh, who, did, who was given the song and was just sort of let the way this the way to work with this girl is to just let her go, just let her run wild, and then she'll hand something like this back. Okay, so that's already pretty thick stuff. Uh, and then, Travis had an idea for a flute part. And if you're going to have flute on a song, uh, Lauren Leibowitz is, is, is the queen. Everyone should hire this girl to write flute on their music. Uh, she's fantastic. She played on my Marble Madness album, and it was great. So yeah, here's, what, here's a little bit of Lauren soloed. Uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like before everything's put together. And then all together. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, and then I ended up going back and adding a little bit of rhythm guitar just to, to add some harmonies to what she was already doing. So it sounds like this. So yeah, it stacks quick, uh, and it's amazing what can happen when you 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 work with people that you know, and you have no idea what you're gonna get back uh, from people, but it always ends up being something special. So those that's actually all of the layers in the songs. Uh, in the song, um, there's a bunch of drums that are boring because they're just a bunch of dots. This is what drums look like. Drums are boring. Um, yeah, and then I guess the only other part to note in the song is that there is kind of a chorus that is really just a focus of acoustic, uh, heavy guitars, and the violin, which is when the violin really opens up and adds some melody. This is what the chorus sounds like. It's a pitch-shifted uh, rhythm guitar. <laughs> So it really, it really does add up, and I think this is kind of a representation of, of what a lot of the Mono Project is, is, is people kind of throwing ideas together, um, seeing what sticks. You know, uh, the end of the song, I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll mention this at the end, you know, like I said, Travis was kind of the catalyst for this whole thing with his original idea, and the song kind of went places, especially when people started throwing on layers and adding their own flair. Um, so the end of the song has some of the original percussion and piano just to ride things out because it made a whole lot of sense. So 
Uh, I'll just leave this video with that playing out. And thank you guys for watching. And please, by all means, download the Spectrum of Mana album that comes out here shortly. Or maybe it already came out. I don't know. Depends on when this came up. So, And again, sorry for the lack of stereo in this video. Um, but if you want to hear this in full-on fidelity, get the record. Thanks, guys. See ya.